guys, welcome to the studio once again. This is the second video in this series where I show you guys all the spaces, all the places that it takes to create a photo shoot experience here at my studio. So let's start exploring this one. multitasker of multitaskers in the studio and I'll tell you a couple reasons why I love it so much. So the first reason is I can put my camera down there and while I'm shooting I can tether it with my computer and all tethering is is it takes the image that's on your camera and it displays it on your computer screen so the image on your camera the back of it is itty bitty you can't hardly see what you're really getting so to ensure the top quality and make sure that everything is precise and we're getting the sharp images that I desire I like to tether every once in a while and I can blow up those pictures make sure that it's focused on your eyes and we can continue and move on and be very happy so the other reason I like to use it is for a posing table I like to bring this out in the first couple minutes of the photo shoot. Uh, it gives people a sense of security. Uh, they can put their elbows on it and we can get all these really nice, beautiful uh, poses and I call them my beauty shot poses. But that's what I like to do with people and I, I love having this guy in the studio. It's been really fun to play around with and I can't wait to use it for more photo shoots. You're gonna see a lot more of this guy. And then if you keep moseying on over to the back corner, you're going to see my giant fan. If you guys know anything about me, it's I love to bring out the fan during photo shoots with clients. It instantly makes everyone feel amazing, myself included. And I mean, everyone loves that classic, gorgeous wind hair blowing shot. So I have to do that for just about every client. So if you keep moseying back there, you're gonna see a little pink cart. And I love my pink cart because it keeps all my necessities in one place. So if you look at it, you're gonna see some, you're gonna see a mixture of strange things. And a lot of times people are like, what the heck? Why do you have duct tape and crystals and hairspray? Like, how does that go together? Let me tell you, it does if you're a photographer. If we look over here, on this wall, we're gonna see that I've got some apple boxes and I've got a little, a little chair, bench type thing going on. And I use these for almost every single shoot. It helps me pose my clients really well and that's what I'm all about. We gotta get the body in the right positions and sometimes I need to add a little bit of height or, you know, just little things like that. Little, little height differences really pay off in the end. So I like to keep those out and about in case I need them within short notice. I use them every single shoot. And we've also got my backdrops back here. I love this. I just got this this year. I really like it because it keeps everything off the floor. Um, I can quickly change backdrops. And yeah, I've just really liked it. I want more backdrops, but we'll see what happens this year. I've got a couple things in mind, but we'll see. So that's it. That's my little studio. I'm telling you, it's not huge. It doesn't take a giant place to get the job done and I'm completely okay with that. I love my little space. It's mine and I love sharing it with my clients. So I hope that you guys enjoyed getting to see some of the things that I use all the time and if you guys have any questions about anything, I'd love to answer them for you all. So until then, see you soon. Bye.